What's going on YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rides and Customs. Hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. Got your feast on. Man, we're still, uh, man, we're still recovering from yesterday's feast. Uh, still got another one to go to tomorrow, which will be Saturday. And, uh, but uh, just gonna take a little rest and relaxation today. Uh, I think Vicki and I are gonna, we didn't, <laughs> normally we go to, uh, uh, well, I say normally, last year doesn't count. But uh, a while back, we used to just hit the Black Friday sales, and this year we just like, nope, we're not doing it. <laughs> so we slept in today and uh, just decided uh, we're just going to kind of knock around the house a little bit and maybe go out and get us a, uh, probably go out and have us a good, to, we got a good Mexican restaurant we like to go to here in the, uh, here in the Atlanta area. So I think we're going to head toward that later on this evening, but Hope everybody's getting them some well-deserved rest and some bench time in. I definitely have uh, uh, started that today. Uh, once we got up, had breakfast, I come in here and sit down and uh, wanted to get cranked up on the uh, on the old uh, 1940 Ford, uh, this old AMT kit. This is a kit that uh, if many of you are following uh, a lot of the builders in the uh, YouTube community, uh, we have a Facebook group that's called the Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators, and we're all doing a build-off uh, on this particular uh, kit right here. And uh, not just this particular kit, but if it's the AMT 40 Ford, I know there's a lot of the coupes being built. Uh, I know Matt over at uh, Model Car Videos, he's doing a 40 panel wagon, uh, Pro Street too, I might add, and looking very well. But uh, a lot of us, uh, and it, there's a January 15th uh, deadline. So here it is, uh, November the 26th now, and I'm just now getting started on man. Uh, big shout out to Brian over at BG's uh, Models. He was so gracious to send me this. And uh, <laughs> I tell you, I didn't even have one in my stash. And Brian said, I'll hook you up. So he went over to Andy's uh, Hobby Headquarters over there in uh, Arizona and sent me this one, and I really appreciate it. And Brian, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go out here and uh, look in the stash. I got a couple, I got a couple things I wanna just I just wanna send you, uh, and thanks for this right here. So, but uh, getting back to this, uh, a lot of the uh, and, and what we're the the true what we're trying to do is trying to see taking this one kit and seeing what how many different uh you know what what all we can do just like matt over at model car videos uh he's doing a pro street version of his which a lot of people were like pappy pro street does one i was like nah i ain't taking that kind of chance not on this not with the timeline that i have uh but i uh uh pulled it out started taking the uh taking everything off of the sprue the direction I want to go with this, and if you look at the box art here, this box art is great, but I hate the, uh, just the, the yellow is just not standing out to me, nor that red trunk lid. But uh, what I'm thinking about doing is, and I love those uh, dog dish hubcaps and trim rings uh, on those wheels. So I'm going to be utilizing the same, the, those same wheels, uh, same tires, and uh, doing the red, paint the, uh, Paint those steelies red and utilizing the uh, the dog dish hubcap and the beauty ring. Uh, sticking with the same chrome uh, front bumper, rear bumper. But the direction I'm going to go with this is an old moonshine runner. Uh, many of the cars back in the you know back in the early 40s, uh, mid 40s, uh, around the country, you know, around this neck of the country where I'm from here in West Georgia up in North Georgia also, they were known for <laughs> for the distribution of illegal moonshine. And you in order to be a, a good distributor of that product, you needed a fast car. And that's where NASCAR got its start at. If you look at a lot of the uh some of the older, you know, some of the older guys that uh was, you know, the beginning phases of of NASCAR, that's where NASCAR started at, was these guys right here would, you know, they'd haul moonshine at night, and then on Saturdays or Sundays, they'd go out to the local, you know, uh, they'd actually go out to a pasture or somewhere and run them, which is, you know, what got, you know, really what got racetracks started. So, and they were running their moonshine cars. 
Uh, guys like Junior Johnson, uh, he was, oh my goodness, he was, I wouldn't say a notorious, but he was a very famous moonshiner that, you know, eventually uh, led into, you know, into the NASCAR, uh, uh, into the NASCAR, what, what became NASCAR later on. So, but I mean, look back at, you know, do a little history uh, on these old, uh, on, on NASCAR and you'll see everything leads back to these old moonshine cars. Uh, the 40 Fords, they were notorious for their engines as far as the old flathead engines, man, they could get the horsepower out of them. Uh, setting up the, you know, as far as setting up the, uh, uh, the rear suspension to where it could haul a lot of weight as far as in their product. Uh, in the back area, as far as in the trunk, they would set up their springs, set up the front, uh, you know, the front uh, suspension also to where it would also handle with that kind of weight in the back just in case if they were to, you know, start getting, you know, get caught by the old revenue <laughs> or, the, or the police, so to say. Uh, as far as the direction, like I say, I'm going to go with this one is uh, we'll use, utilize those wheels right there. Uh, as far as the kit, uh, this kit, man, I tell you, it's uh, had a lot, had some flash on it. Just had to work around most of that. I'm just going to, as far as the bucket, uh, as far as the, uh, the the interior pan right there, I'm going to utilize that. Not even going to put a rear seat in there. Reason behind that, they can put more moonshine in it. Uh, just going to do kind of a tan, uh, kind of a buckskin color on the interior right there. As far as the body itself, I am going to, I am going to utilize the chrome that you see, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, the chrome front bumpers, the chrome headlights around the, uh, uh, as far as the chrome around the headlights, that chrome, uh, the chrome grill piece right there. Uh, one of the things as far as I'm really looking to is the paint. Uh, if you think back, you know, around, you know, well, I, which I wasn't around in the forties, but a lot of the cars back then, they were just, they really wasn't too many colors to choose from. And it was usually just maybe a gloss black or a, or a semi gloss or something, or maybe even a flat black. Uh, so what I, the direction I'm going with this is going to be a black. It won't be a shiny, you know, it may not be shiny. I may do a semi gloss or may even just flat you know, spray flat over it and make it just as dull as I can. But uh, I'll be utilizing, you know, I'll be doing the, some bare metal uh, foil for the chrome around that hood right there. And uh, I've got the front end. I've been working most of the morning trying to, and I'll show you what I've got right here. Here's all the parts that's going on this thing. Not a whole lot. I mean, that's what's great about this kit right here. But uh, trying to do as much as you can with what, you know, what's in the in, in this kit. It's what's going to be the fun of this uh, group uh, build-off uh, for, uh, for the Facebook page. Uh, just everybody, you know, just taking what they've got and trying to see what they can create. This is what I'm, uh, one thing I was working on today was the, uh, was the front suspension. I want to get that front suspension, uh, kind of dragging, uh, kind of have a, you know, a low front stance to it, uh, kind of low and mean, kind of raised up in the back. And, uh, there's the, uh, got everything as far as the wheels, uh, ready. We'll take those out there, get some primer sprayed on those. There's those awesome looking, man. I was, when I was, uh, cutting them out and got to looking at the, uh, trim rings and the dog dish hubcaps, man, these things were great. And, uh, they're going to look really good with that red, uh, the red steel wheels right there. And, uh, as far as the interior, there's the dash. Uh, I am going to do a little customization, uh, I'm going to, Probably build an aluminum drive, uh, aluminum drive shaft. Build an aluminum uh, steering column uh, to go through that. Kind of give it, you know, kind of jazz it up a little bit. Uh, but there's the motor. That I, this is the old. This is a kit motor right here. Got everything glued up on it. But uh, these these are Arden heads, uh, which basically they're kind of like a Hemi, you know, like, like a Hemi head. So. Uh, my buddy, uh, my buddy, uh, Monty Davis over there, uh, he, he, uh, cast these for me really great looking detail on these. So I'm going to be putting these on there and using a parts by park, uh, distributor, 
uh, got to doing some uh, research on the uh, on these Arden heads and these old uh, flatheads. The distributor actually goes in uh, one of these holes. I think it's this middle hole right here. So that distributor will be going straight into that, and I will be uh, uh, wiring wiring and plumbing this one right here. Had to take the manifold, do a little uh, uh, a little adjustment on it as far as trying to get it to set down, get it to match up to those Arden heads, and just using the old uh, just the plain uh, as far as the fan and the uh, the pulleys uh, that comes with the kits so that'll be going on there as well. Uh, just going to detail the, uh, as far as the grill right here, just do a black wash on it and just kind of do some detail painting on that uh, radiator right there. So beautiful, uh, got a great suspension on this. This is, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the, uh, uh, with the, uh, as far as this old, uh, this old front suspension on it, uh, as well as with the rear right there with that single leaf, uh, uh, the single leaf. Uh, rear suspension as well as a single leaf uh, uh, suspension on this for the front as well. It's got that I-beam type uh, suspension. I had to, I did a little bit of modification. If you kind of notice right there, I did some sanding on that spring uh, right, uh, right in the middle uh, to get it to set lower in the frame itself. That way I can kind of tuck those tires up in that fender well and get that low stance on it. I also just kind of filled in uh, the uh, where the, uh, added some styrene, some very thin styrene to the outside. And I'm going to be relocating the center hole, uh, on that to where those wheels will get tucked up in there a little bit further. There's the axles for this. Of course, those uh, steel axles run, uh, run, you know, horizontally across right there as well as in the rear itself. So they've got a little, uh, uh, I'm going to keep pretty much the, the same stance in the rear uh, as far as the stock, but that front end, I'm going to try to get it as low as possible. But let's get turned back around to the body. Uh, I'll show you what I've, uh, this, let me set the body off of the frame. I got to looking earlier when I uh, really beautifully detailed uh, frame. The only thing about it is right in here, these were, uh, these had, it was actually had a floor pan in it, uh, but it had a molded in, uh, had a molded in uh, uh, exhaust that went, you know, it traversed all the way to the back. So it just had a single exhaust. So I took, uh, cut, cut these uh, floor pan openings out so uh, kind of shaped everything back, get a little bit of detail. I did, however, leave this uh, leave this floor pan right in here, uh, so uh, so I could have some things. It, it would strengthen, you know, it, it structurally it would keep it, you know, good and good, good and sturdy. Uh, wouldn't cause a little bit of flex in the front in the frame itself. But the as far as the exhaust, it went all the way down through here. So I just took a took took the Dremel and, and I ground it out and got everything sanded smooth in there. But I'm gonna leave these open right here. It looks really good uh, with it tucked up under the uh, uh, once it gets up under the frame or uh, frame mounts uh, into the body itself. Uh, another thing I was been looking at is the, uh, the, the, this great hood, but the hood had a problem. And if you've ever built this kit, we always had problems with this hood lining up between, you know, up here on the, uh, and on the front wind, windscreen itself. Uh, so I just cut the hood, the hood hinges off and, uh, sanded them smooth, and now that thing fits pretty flush. I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. Uh, anything else? Uh, finally, I got the mole lines uh, out of here. There's a terrible mole line across the front of that. Once I get some primer sprayed on it, I'll see how those turned out and, and uh, adjust accordingly. But uh, other than that, really, I'm really starting to get excited about this uh, about this build. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I know everybody, all the guys that are, I know Matthew was kidding around a while ago about, uh, he won't show a lot of what he, what he's going to do in part one with his, he didn't want anybody, didn't want anybody stealing his ideas. So, uh, but that's, what's fun about this build off is, you know, seeing everybody's, uh, you know, what their ideas are and getting them to, uh, to pan out, you know, across, you know, while they're building it. I know Matthew was talking about this is his first, uh, first time kit bashing a couple of kits together. So yeah, I can relate to it. I do a lot of kit bashing and, and it's fun. It's challenging. That's what I really enjoy about it. But, uh, with this one right here, I just kind of want to go kind of simple, uh, just kind of just 
keep it, uh, you know, put some modifications into it. Nothing really crazy, but uh, try to get that good, good old, good looking uh, stink eye stance is what, <laughs> what my buddy Skylar used to call them. But anyhow, folks, hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you remember what I always say, if you can dream it, build it, God bless y'all. Happy out of here.